Come on, girls! Come on! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. It is now day 19 of the Lambing Vlogs. Just checking up on the use of our blue part yesterday. Fortunately, they haven't all come to the feed, so gonna have to go check around the field. Hope you enjoy guys, if you do please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most of all, I hope you enjoy. Typical. I'll just drive down here as this seems to be the area, or the death area, if anything is not well. Oh, good. Right, lady. Right, lammies. No, don't chase me. Go on, girls, go up that way for feed. You got that? Oh, typical sheep. Oh, luckily, there's a well placed log there so you can get over. Come on, come on, back to your mum. Yeah, we got you. Oh, you got a full belly, don't you? Right, that is your mum there. Go to your mum. That is why you buy Kaiwaka. Doesn't rip on barbed wire. I'm rocking the hipster look today with my ripped jeans, long coat. When the sun is out down by the river here, it is glorious. So we got two one five eight, so one six four. You shouldn't be here. Mate, trust me, if you were about a year older, you would find it heaven in there with all that corn. Go to that. Go to that. That's yours. Go that way. Up, 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 get up for me. Up, Lammy, you okay? You okay? Oh, God. Oh, God. I missed some two lambs. Thank God for that. Driven around all the field for you, mate. I was having a heart attack. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh. Right, now we're just missing one. One, six, four. Lamb, where are you, Lamb? One, six, four, where are you? Oi, 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 oi. This is my biggest worry that it's ended up in here. Right, do you know where he is? Any of you? No? Four is, we'll feed the big field and I'll keep my eye out. Might be in there. <laughs> Usual fed, they are currently on. 500 grams a head per day at the moment. Look how dry it is. I'm walking around with boots. Dad is obviously third spreading. You've just seen him drive past. It's a different year this year. Don't want to talk too soon because it's bound to rain. I found him. I found him. Where have you been hiding, mate? There you are. Good lamb. Your leg just looks a little funny. You're right. Put you down. Yeah. You see? Ignore the one ball on his side. It's one we can't cast straight because his testicle hadn't descended. I'm gonna come and check these later. That leg hasn't fully stretched out. Can you see it's like this, not straight? I'm gonna bring down a splint later, but it'll be all right with his mum for a couple of hours. You better with your mum than on your own, I'll put it that way. Yeah, well. Don't run away, don't run away. Oh. Bingo. That is a relief. Boy, it's bitterly cold today. Bit of a chaotic start to this video, is it? So come and do the usual check to sheep. Two missing lambs, but we're back to reality now. We're now back. Oh, sorry. We're now back just wandering around. I say wandering around, driving around. I ain't got food. You missed out. <laughs> nice trip, Flips. They're rubber blacks. That look very Charlotte like, doesn't it? I know I keep saying it, but really happy with how these Abba Blacks are growing. They seem like a great mix. I've made my way back to the lambing shed. It is a fairly quiet one today. It's Sunday, so I'm trying to have a little bit of rest and catch up with other stuff. So the twins that were all born last night, they're all doing well. The one with bad 
bag, I've treated it with uh, pen strip to tube the lambs. They can suck off one side, she has milk on one side, so fingers crossed we can get sorted. The big adopted cage, uh, take that like conductor water, so really happy about that. Uh, and now, as you can see, we have a Mona here. I'm gonna let her out and just see, if you remember, she is the one that didn't like either of her lambs, so fingers crossed if I let her out now, uh, she might like them. Good girl. What do we think? She's sniffing. She's nah. sniffing. She's confused. From yesterday, guys, if you do remember, she hated both of them, so we nah. just have to lock her in there. I don't know. We'll see. Nah. Apart from them, we also have the other you in the yoke that's also got 94 on her. We're going to do exactly the same with her right now. This should be a little bit of a giveaway straight away if she likes them or not. Fingers crossed, she likes 94 and thinks it's her little 68, so out you go, girl. Out you go, good girl. Good girl, can you get out? You got a big head. There you are, good girl. Right. Does she like both of the lambs? Go away. Please take them, please take them. I'm gonna leave them to just chill on their own for a little bit. I'm gonna fill all the waters up and then I'll give you an update. So, water's all done. We've actually topped all the haylage up too. The twins and triplets have also got some lovely nah. fresh haylage. And we're now back down to the you with the lambs. As you can probably see, the first one, I'm gonna say she's probably a bit more keen on the lamb that I adopted nah. on, which is a bit funny. She's letting them both have a suckle, but I don't think she's sure. I'm gonna leave it outside the adopter nah. just to see, but it's one of them, I'm not too sure. Adopters, ugh, they don't work as well as a few wet adopt. And obviously that's an adoption, but it's gone wrong because she likes the adopter one more than the original. We now move over to 68 with the yoke. As you can see, 94 is no longer with her. So I put 94 back in the cave pen. So this is the original plan. And I put her original lamb back on. Really confident about this because 68, her lamb, is actually suckling off of the big teat side. And the other one is trying to get to the other. Obviously she likes both of them because they're both her lambs. So confident about that, although she really didn't like 94. She was trying to beat him up. So I thought that would be the best way to go forward. And fingers crossed, 68, the one that we've been feeding as a cade, Figures out where the tea is now. Oh yeah, just to clarify, nothing slammed yet since yesterday. Everything seems happy in there, so we may as well head back down the field to sort that lamb got to the bandages. Couldn't forget these, so you lambs have all settled in well. Obviously the ones with the red dots are barons, ignore them. Um, but yeah, these are due to start in probably the next four or five days along with the border lesters. These are the two barren border esters, the two pregnant ones from the other shed. But these may, could be pregnant because they were scanned very, very early. So if the tuck caught them a, a bit later, they may be in lamb, but they didn't scan in lamb. They're like a month behind the rest of the flock, if you get what I mean. Yes, mummy. Stop it, please. I'm trying to help you. I definitely think that's an improvement. I don't know how well you can see, but it's keeping his leg a bit more supported and it's not giving way. It doesn't look perfect, but I'm thinking it'll do the job. Yeah. Right then, girl, come on. Go on, girl. Just been down to the field and found 52 lamb dead. So we bought her back. I haven't had a chance to fill a bag or anything, but hopefully I'm going to put a cade on her. That's what I think would be. Fortunately, lost the lamb just in the trees out the way of her everywhere. It was fine earlier, I went round them all, went round the edge. No idea, but yeah, bought her back. I thought the best thing at least if her bags are out, I'll pop a lamb on her. And if anything, it means I don't have to be the cade. And now, we'll see if she'll take one. So, 68's obviously taking her U back. Um, and the U over there likes her lambs. 
But now we've just got to try and get this new 52 to like a lamb. Well, she's got milk. Well, it started well. Well, guys, I'm going to keep it a short and sweet one today as it's Sunday and I'm going to go and have a chill now. Everything's been fed, that's why it's got quiet again. Lambs are where they should be. 68 is liking her lamb. The one over there, uh, not so sure. She might have to take, we, I might have to take her actual lamb off of her, which is a kind of a pain in the backside, but it is where it is. But everything else is looking good. And sadly, it's the first video of the, <coughs> the whole vid, first video of the whole series where nothing has lambed for a whole day. We've still got 32 of these to go and 22 year lambs. So really hope you enjoyed it guys. A little bit more chilled as it is a Sunday. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most of all, I hope you enjoyed. I'll just leave you with some cool shots, those newborn lambs from last night. Look at these absolute belters. That's the adopted, and that is the actual lamb. Um...